Hey, Sahar Galt here, and I'm gonna show you a variety of triplet-based figures to expand your rhythmic vocabulary. Also, a trick to make quarter note triplets simple to perform. Let's get to it. And let's begin by establishing our quarter note beat. And if we subdivide each beat into three pieces, da 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 da. This gives us the eighth note triplet. Practice that with the beat. Ready, go. And check that you did it right. Now, once you've established this eighth note triplet pulse, you can omit notes within it, giving rise to a host of new rhythmic figures. You can start by dropping the middle note, da, 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 which, by the way, is precisely a shuffle. If you've ever seen this at the beginning of a piece, it means for you to treat all eighth notes not as halves of the beat, but unevenly. The first eighth getting two thirds of the beat, second eighth getting one third. So let's give that a try. Ready, go. Check yourself against the reference. Nice. Of course, we can trim the last note in the triplet. I find it's really helpful to understand this figure by comparing its triplet feel against the other common ways you might have consecutive notes in a row. Two straight eighths, da, 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 and two sixteenths, da, 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 and again, our triplet, da, 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 da. It's worth making sure you can feel the difference, but in simple math terms, the second sixteenth comes a quarter of the way into the beat. The second triplet comes a third of the way into the beat. And the second eighth comes halfway into the beat. Okay, let's try the triplet figure. Ready, go. Check it. Remember, you can always wind this back and run it a few times if you don't have it yet, but I'm going to introduce the next one. You can also omit the part of the triplet that starts on the beat. Dun, 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 dun. You try it. Ready, go. And check you did it right. Now, if we take that figure, dun, 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 and cleave off the last note, Da, 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 da. We get a very important figure we're going to talk more about in a moment. First, let's perform it. Ready, go. Check it. Now, if we combine the shuffle figure, da, 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 and this one, da, da, da. Back to back, da, 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 da. We get the quarter note triplet, which is the half note divided into three pieces. And because it creates a three against two polyrhythm with the straight quarter note beat, it can be a real source of confusion, especially when sight reading. But if you think of it like this, a combination of two simple one beat figures, it becomes considerably easier to manage. And pretty soon, you'll just sink into the feeling of the figure without this intermediate step. So remember, the shuffle plus the middle triplet back to back. You try it. Ready? Go. Hand check it. There's one more eighth note triplet figure that we haven't done. This one. It has a really off-kilter, anticipatory feeling. Da, 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 da. Which might make it seem like it would be hard to perform, but it's really not. All you have to do is conjure the original triplet figure in your mind. Da, 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 da. Then simply resist performing. 
on the first two notes in your head. Da, 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 da. You try. Ready? Go. And check it. Okay, now we're going to review all of these figures. You'll first hear the figure perform. You repeat afterwards. You'll hear it again to check. You'll have one more opportunity to practice. Then we'll move on to the next figure. Here we go. Great. Now, to reinforce these, we're going to practice them in randomly generated rhythms that include our standard one-beat figures. Generating. Okay, let's see what you can do. Ready? Go. And to check, here's what it ought to have sounded like. Hopefully that went well, but if you're finding you're having trouble with the non-triplet-based figures, check out my other rhythm videos, which cover those. If it's the triplet-based figures you're struggling with, that's okay. Head back to the review, run that a few more times, and it may even take coming back to this a few days in a row to really let it set into the brain. Okay, let's do another. Generating. All right, here we go. Check it to see how you did. Let's do another. Here we go. And let's give it a check. Let's keep working. Here we go. Check it. And let's do one more. And final check.
awesome work. You've reinforced some crucial triplet-based figures. Okay, that's it for this time. If you'd like to see more lesson videos like this, consider supporting via my Patreon. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Sahar Galt. I'll see you next time.